Hello everyone. How are you doing this Thursday? June 28th? I got the date wrong yesterday. I said it was the 26th. It was the 27th apparently. See this is what happened when you have little downtime. You um <laughs> your calendar dates a little off. Anyhow, I'm here today. This is a makeup from Monday. I guess Monday I ended up having Oh goodness, um, three appointments myself. I had to take my son to the doctor, then run and get him medicine. And you know, it was just one of those, actually just a, a mom day, home day that got way away from me. And I crawled into bed very early. And those that know me know I'm a night owl. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're all good now. Everything's good. Um, anyway, I'm here with on Thursday and it does feel kind of I've gotten into this Monday Wednesday habit and it does feel kind of different to me um, I just came from outside sitting having a late lunch with my husband on our our deck looking at all our home improvement projects in the backyard and the list is long and we'll get to it all eventually just take a deep breath and dig in anyway we are both getting our little bit of vitamin D since uh, when we're both on the job as it were me creating him doing his thing excuse me we're usually in the basement where there is no vitamin d naturally anyway i'm prattling on today i wanted to show you and again there are a lot more things that can be done i'm keeping this brief because i usually like to keep my facebook lives by the way this is sandy mcmanus with needsarubin.com if you're just joining me hi i don't know if anyone's going to join me live if you are please shout out if you are just because this is an off day for me. Um, or if you catch it later, give me a like or something so I know you caught it. Um, but what I wanted to cover today was some fun things you can do with envelopes. And again, I keep my lives short. So um, this by no means is going to be all that can be done with some fun things you can do with envelopes besides sticking stuff in them and sticking them in the postal service mail. I just thought this was, um, I was kind of inspired. Um, and again, it's something that I haven't done in years. So I came up with some things. So I am just using our normal, well, actually I'm using two of our size envelopes. This is the, one of our Whisper White standard A4 card, which is the, for the, well, the envelopes are a little bit bigger, but for the four and a quarter by five and a half inch card envelopes that we carry in our catalog globally um, and they are really nice envelopes if you've never ordered them uh, it's a pack of 40 the price was seven dollars I'm not sure if it went up with the new catalog that was one of the items I didn't check on um, but they were seven dollars before June 1st so somewhere in that vicinity hey um, they are very nice they have a very nice feel they feel substantial they don't feel porous like some cheap envelopes they're nice, smooth um, paperweight. But anyway, so let's have some fun with them. So one of the so what so all I'm showing, like I said, there's a lot that you can do with envelopes. But what I'm just showing today, um, maybe I'll do a part one and two and three. But anyway, for today, is just gift card holders basically, or mini cards if you want to look at them that way. And this is one of them. This is using our new. Oh wow, dead air. Um, it's toward the back of the catalog. Share what you love paper. That has, um, if you can kind of see it, it has a slight coating on it that gives it a pearly look. It's just beautiful. I keep using it. It's more substantial weight too. It's like cardstock weight. So this stuff is just so nummy always to play with. And these envelopes are paperweight, paperweight, or a little bit heavier than your printer paper. So. I'm going to guess 28 pound. I don't know exactly, but based on paperweight, paperweight that I've had, I'm going to guess that's like a 28 pound. Whereas cardstock normally starts at like 60 or 80. So if you were to fold this in half, it's still going to be pretty flimsy. So that's part of why I use this paper is it has a little more substance to it to keep it from being foldy. So this is all, so this is one of them. I'll let me open it up. I use the happy birthday thinlet die that we have and I cut it twice 
first in petal pink and in black this petal pink I just love and this is Calypso Coral um, ombre ribbon but I really thought the lighter shades really do are kind of petal pink and I thought it went beautifully so I tied mine closed we'll see if I can ever get it tied again <laughs> oh my goodness um, and you open it up and you can stick um, I didn't oh flubber nuggets I don't have any gift cards in the house I honestly don't so we'll just use a business card that I got from someone from Home Depot but which are much smaller than gift cards gift cards are three and a half by like two and five six maybe a little bit wider than that um, so they'll fit in here nicely again a business card is a lot smaller than that they're usually two by three and a half or smaller um, so yeah it would fit in there so we'll just pretend yeah we have no gift cards in the house I went hunting for some and I'm like wow that means that we've used them all up or we haven't gotten it in any while um, so to do this it's really actually very easy to make such a thing you take an envelope put the flap side up and you're gonna fold it do a, a I don't know if that'd be a mountain or valley fold but fold it back on itself I'm not gonna get technical um, bone folder would be nice for this but I don't have one and you want to open that back up and you want to cut along I mean if you want precise cutting by all means knock yourself out and get your cutter out but you want to cut up to the score line there and there are two ways that I have seen these sealed and you'll see that I've done two different ways I'm sorry about the cat oh boy I'm sorry um <laughs> life is real um, I like to seal that down lick and seal so you can't see me lick it and seal that down because you're not going to use that side I've also you know again keeping this short and simple today um, I should have done that first oh well um, I prefer to tuck mine in and I should have done that first that would have been smart but I've seen more people and you'll see that they flap it over too that's really all you're doing with the envelope and then you cut and see wow because I had to do it that way well that's okay you get the idea do as I say not as I do fold the open flap first whatever direction it's whether you're gonna tuck it in or over then seal that because I ripped it doing that um, the outside layer to layer like that the dimensions are two and five six by four and an eighth um, to get that nice layer um, anyway so that's what we have I wanted to show you there are a couple different ways to seal these too um, I used a ribbon you don't have to seal them you could do a belly band this way or you could do a belly band that way I chose to do a belly band this way on this one and that is using some more of that share what you love paper because again it has a little substance to it and if you have a belly band it's likely to go on and off a few times so you want something with a little little substance to it and I fussy cut a flower to decorate it and the stamp set that I used on all the ones other than this one is the picture perfect birthday I just kind of stuck with the theme because it was you know easier to show you in such a short time and this is one of our petal embossing folders and I just cut a small piece and that's part of the um, picture perfect birthday also which is a great birthday set honestly um, it's got your basic birthday stuff in there and some other fun stuff I've shown it before on live I think this is one that people should have for birthday stuff in their um, stamp toolbox and here's one where I left the flap open and you can tell that I um, did that one bad um, but by leaving it open you could take and slide your invisible gift card in there and put the belly band over it and then it's locked in there securely you know that's not gonna fall out or you could also 
I don't have a lot of candy around the house either, so if this were flatter, I'm sure Ghirardelli could fit in there too. You wouldn't want to belly band that kind, but you'd want to probably ribbon that close. Don't know if it's mailable because it's past the quarter inch mark, but it would be a fun little gift. You know, stick a gift card and a piece of candy in there. So that's one way is, um, you know, belly band it closed. Same basic principle on decorating. You've got the tie, you've got the belly band. Um, this one I kept open and I kept it really simple. I used our stitched oval stitch framelits to cut out out of the share what you love paper again because it gives that front a little substance and the back side is the share what you love also I tucked mine in on that side that would make a nice little card you know you wouldn't even have to put a gift card in there you could just stick another secret card in there maybe a secret message to a dear friend and you could decorate that for sure again for the purpose of keeping things quick, I um, I didn't do a whole lot with mine, and I have more to show. Here it is. And then I didn't just mess with our standard A4 envelopes. I also did our little three by three envelopes. Yes, this is a little three by three envelope. I stuck my flap in. I did not seal it. My invisible gift card would go in there. It would stick out if it were a real gift card enough that they would know like a pocket and this is again using that share what you love paper this is a card this is definitely a mailable card and a gift card you know you pull that out it looks like a normal card right and it has that it is does not close i didn't feel it needed to be a closable card i thought that was enough i fussy cut some flowers stamped on the vellum and I actually to attach the vellum you can kind of see it I put the glue dots behind the words it kept it hidden enough that you really can't tell if that's a shadow or a glue dot so there's an idea so that's a really simple way to use them um, and we have envelopes in the whisper white and we have the vanilla envelopes we have other envelopes too we have the little 3x3 three three envelopes, which made a resurgence back this winter, back into the catalog. Those are awesome. Again, I use, usually use the 3x3 three three less for, you know, it'd be a great gift card enclosure in like a gift, a gift bag or something, but um, more for things like that. And if for some reason you felt the absolute desire to mail these, there is no reason at all. Here's our vanilla envelope. There is no reason at all you can't just plop this in a regular envelope and mail it. Or if you feel like it really needs to be kind of a card, just cut some cardstock, stick it in there, and then stick it in your envelope. And that is still thin enough to be mailable. I just wanted to point that out. Um, but these would make great little gifts for gift cards, for thank you favors or all kinds of things so why don't I decorate this one I started to um, we'll get that covered up anyway um, let's uh I started to pull some stuff together I had pulled some stuff together I'm digging you got you can't see me digging Ooh. well Poopy. Um, that's very interesting. Oh, it was all here. Okay, so I pre-cut some cardstock. Um, one for the outside, one for the inside. I'm not sure which. I think. I think we'll do that one for. No, we'll do that one on the inside. We'll do this on the outside. Okay. Again, this is just something simple. You could whip out, you know, a whole bunch of these. If you're a demonstrator, there's no reason you can whip out a bunch of 10, you know, and maybe sell them as a pack. Lots you can do with this, but I just think it's a really cool idea. Just be careful that you don't rip it like I did. So get that glued on. I've already done the envelope folding. I'm going to glue, so I'm going to do flowers on the inside. I'm doing it opposite. 
And I have seen too where some people have folded them that way and done some things too. But again, for the purpose of this short live, we're not, we're just keeping to a basic rhythm here. So if you are just joining me, give me a shout, a like, a wave, a something so that I know you're here. Okay, so that. And then we need to decorate it. And again, I stuck with a birthday theme on this. Um, just, it was just, again, keep it easy for today. So it's got to be able to fit with our two inch circle punch. That's our two and a quarter inch circle punch. Um, let's just do will that fit. Nope. Um, let's do that. I'm pretty sure that will fit. make sure whoa that's not gonna fit okay okay um wow okay we'll do treat yourself or happy birthday sorry sorry about the crinkling paper or cellophane okay it happens. So we got a happy birthday here. I don't care if it's straight on my block, so I'm punching it out in a circle. Yada, yada, yada. Stamp. Ink, ink, ink. Let's get it stamped. I want it kind of toward, actually this time I'll do toward the top of the circle. And yes, normally when you have the photopolymer stamps, you should have a foam sheet pad thing can't think of what they're called that we carry underneath and this you can tell I already nicked that um, because that I use memento ink and it needs a second to dry oh well it's just a sample get that glued on And I'm gonna pop that up with a few dimensionals. I have an idea. Again, I didn't really plan this very much. Go down. Yeah, we'll, we'll go up here. And since this is the Rich Razzleberry, here's the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. And I know that if you tie this in a bow, it gets really, really fat. So I'm just gonna keep this to a simple, simple knot. And that's fine if it gets fat, but there's no way in heck you could ever mail it then. So we'll just keep this to a simple knot, trim it down. And no, I don't use special scissors for my ribbon. I tried that years ago. And when I was in a hurry, I kept grabbing the wrong one. So kind of gave up on that idea. Though, if you can manage it, they're great. And I'm going to put it on with a glue dot. Put it on. I'll just keep it simple. Pretty simple. I just wanted to show you the basic idea of how easy these are. And hopefully it inspires you to... Um... So this is what I have. I have the simple... I have the little pocket one that's on the front of a card. We have the ribbon tied one so that's a way you can close it if you want to close it you don't have to close it or you can do a belly band and that's all I have and you could stick candy in them or wherever my fake gift card went I tossed it aside um, and this is what I have. Um, some great ideas that you can play with envelopes and use them for things other than as an envelope to mail stuff. You certainly can reach beyond your imagination and hopefully this has inspired you to go off 
and play with your envelopes. I thank you very much for everyone that tunes in or will tune in later. And um, let me know what you if you create anything. I'd love to see what others have if they decide to go off and try this. Um, so thanks for stopping by on Thursday. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Next week, I think I'm only live once because the holiday is a Wednesday. We'll see if I can... Well, yeah. Let's just stick with that for now. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye.